Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Parv's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. It is wonderful to have you back again. Once again, as usual, I really hope you're all safe, well and looking after yourselves. Today, what I would like to share with you, it's not so much a huge fancy recipe or anything far from it. It's something that I remember my mum doing frequently on a Sunday morning. So to me, it's very much a lazy weekend brunch recipe, but I absolutely adore it. It's so quick, so simple. I also like doing it as a quick cheeky little supper or dinner sometimes when you've had a hard day at work, you really don't want to cook and this is the way to go. So what I would like to share with you today is my recipe for masala eggs. I like serving mine with some lovely toast, whatever I have, sourdough or seeded bread and also I'm going to share with you how I make my version of a chai latte. I'm not too keen on a strong cinnamon flavour, so I make mine using green cardamoms and fennel and star anise and it's absolutely wonderful and the two go together beautifully. You really need to give it a go. And if you take sugar in your coffee, I just want to say, try it without sugar, just a sip of it. The spices are so gently sweet, you will possibly find that you don't need any sugar. I feel it's a treat for me having this latte because it is quite sweet, but that's with the spices and it's beautiful, simple and easy. So here it goes. So for the masala omelette part of the dish, I have got about five cherry tomatoes that I've quartered. I'm using my frozen spring onions. You can use three or four fresh ones, that's absolutely fine. I just like to wash them, chop them and pop them in the freezer when I've got a glut of them. I just use a couple of eggs, that's ample for me. I've got a very conservative teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of molden salt and half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, but use it to taste, that's absolutely fine. So that's for the masala omelette part. And for my chai latte, I have got a pinch of fennel seeds, probably about a teaspoon, three green cardamoms, and there was half a star anise in my jar, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to pop some water from an already boiled kettle into my pan, and then pop the spices in. I'll let you see as I go. Now I've got a little milk pan on the hob. I pot some water in it from the kettle and all I'm going to do is add my spices. I like to get the most out of my spices so I'm going to let that cook away until there's maybe about two thirds of the water left and that will give us amazing flavour. I'll set that aside and start on my masala omelette. So to my pan, I've added probably about three teaspoons of olive oil. Use what's right for you. There's no right nor wrong. And I'm just going to pop all of this into the pan and let it cook away. Probably take just a couple of minutes, three or four at the most. Um, once it's done, I'll let you see. Now that's my spring onions and tomatoes sizzling away beautifully. It's taken about three minutes to get to this stage. And all I'm going to do is add in the spices. Remember, they were curry powder, cracked black pepper and some salt. You do it to taste, remember. Whatever suits you is the way to go. So cook these down and let you see just before I add the eggs. Okay. Now that's my spices cooked. It looks and smells incredible. I added a tiny splash of water in to make sure that the spices were cooking evenly. Now I'm going to add in my eggs. All I've done is mix them together with fork, nothing fancy, and they are going into the pan. Just spread it over. There we go. 
and it really is as simple as that. Now all I can say is cook your masala eggs to your liking. I'll cook it the way I like it. Okay. And that's my eggs done. When I was little there was no such thing as having a fluffy centre, so on and so forth. But you cook it to your liking. Now, for my spice latte, I've got about two thirds of water left. It's boiling away vigorously, but the smell is incredible. Now I'm going to add in my milk and you can add in as much or as little as you prefer. I'm greedy when it comes to this, so I am making a very, very generous amount. Now I'm going to let that come to the boil. I've got instant coffee in my mug, ready and waiting, that I'm going to sieve this delicious mixture into. I'll let you see once it's done. My milk has come to the boil. I'm going to rescue it, and then I'm going to pop it into my ready and waiting mug. So guys, that's my super simple masala eggs, this time served with lovely seeded toast, properly buttered, and my chai latte. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please give it a go. Naturally, you can add whatever you feel like, but this is how I remember my mum making them. Just really, really quick, simple and easy. And it just puts a smile on my face. Thank you so much for continuing to watch. Do keep sharing the links with your friends and family. Please tell them, spread the word. I look forward to seeing you again next weekend, right here, back in Parv's kitchen. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.